This is home studio tech support from Chafee College Studio Arts. This three-part series of videos will focus on basic safety in your personal off-site workplace or home studio. This is part two, safe practices. Check the description below for other useful links that coincide with this lecture. Part two, safe practices. In this video, I'll describe and demonstrate some important behaviors and methods for cleanliness in your workspace. Your Chafee instructor has selected materials that are generally safe for you to use in your home, but even so, there are a few things you want to take into consideration. Minimizing dust. Working with charcoal and graphite can create a large amount of fine dust. This dust will accumulate in your work area over time. Resist the urge to blow it away. This will make the dust become airborne and therefore much more likely to be inhaled. Instead, sweep away the dust with a soft brush or tap off the excess from the surface of your drawing into a trash can. Afterward, clean your area with a damp rag. This will keep the dust down and out of your lungs. Paint cleanup and disposal. You might be assigned to use acrylic paint or ink in your art class. These materials should be disposed of thoughtfully. Paint, paint rinse water, and ink should never be poured down the drain or onto the ground. These materials can clog pipes in your home, they will pollute waterways, and in some areas it is unlawful. Waste paint and ink must be completely dry before throwing away. Minimize wasted paint by using only the amount that you need. Allow waste paint to fully dry on disposable pallet paper before tossing into the trash. Don't pour rinse water down the drain. There are many ways to safely dispose of rinse water. There are some links in the description below illustrating a few of these options. I prefer to leave the rinse water in a safe, undisturbed location until the water has evaporated, leaving behind the paint residue. At this point, the cup can be thrown away or reused. Aerosols and solvents. You won't be assigned to be using any materials with harmful vapors, such as aerosol sprays, oil-based paints, or solvents. If you choose to use these materials at home, Always read the manufacturer's label. Work in a well-ventilated area or find a shady location outdoors if possible. Consider wearing clothes that cover your skin, a vapor filtering respirator to prevent harmful vapors from entering your lungs, and appropriate gloves that will protect your skin from chemical burns and absorption. Razor blade disposal. You might be required to use an X-Acto knife or utility knife to complete your art assignments. These knives utilize disposable razor blades that can dull and break over time. Do not throw them into the trash unprotected. Loose blades are a hazard to sanitation workers and other members of your home. Blades cannot be recycled. They must be contained in some way, then put into the trash. Wrap blades in paper or tape to conceal the blade's edge, or use a small container like an empty medicine bottle for instance. Clearly label the container, keep it in a secure place until it's full, then throw it in the trash. This concludes part two of this series.